what's happening guys hope you all are doing well this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm going to show you how to flash the moon OS or AOS MP ROM on Redmi Note 3 I don't know how many are there AOS P, AOS CP or AOS MP <laughs> or whatever I will flash the AOS MP ROM and show you guys on Redmi Note 3 so let's do it So first of all, we have to download the ROM and G apps. All the important links will be in the description box below, so do not worry. And make sure you download the G apps which I included in the description, otherwise your camera might not work or download micro G apps from anywhere. So as you can see, I am on official Lineage OS 14.1 right now, so let me boot the phone into TWRP recovery. Before proceeding, make sure you have officially unlocked bootloader, official TWRP recovery installed and you are doing it on your own risk. I am using latest official TWRP 3.2.1.0. So now hit wipe, now select cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. Now swipe to wipe. Once done, go back, go back, hit install, now locate the ROM file and gapps file. Select them and swipe to confirm flash and wait for a few moments. Once done, hit reboot system. Here is the boot animation of Moon OS. Do note that first boot can take 5 to 10 minutes, so do not worry. As we are booted up into the system, let me complete the setup process. Here we have pixel launcher as default launcher. I think it's the modded one. Swipe left for Google Now cards is available here. These are the stock apps this ROM comes preloaded with except for UC browser, Google wallpaper and WhatsApp. They are there because I am restoring Google app data backup. As you can see, swiping down anywhere on the home screen gets you to the notification drawer. So definitely it's the modded pixel launcher. Let's now jump into the settings of this launcher. Here it seems it's kind of modded differently. You will see why I am saying this. You can change the shape of icons and even apply different icon pack with this launcher if you want to. Let me turn off app suggestions. Here as you can see the apps shows the notification number instead of notification dots which is great. Here is the quick settings panel of this ROM. Let me tap on the edit button and see what else are here. Ok so we have things like hotspot, heads up, live display etc over here. So let me add a few. As you can see live display or read mode is working fine on this ROM and let me disable the heads up. Note that we do not have screenshot quick toggle over here. Now let's jump into settings, system and about phone section. As you can see it says Moon OS on the top and based on Android 8.1 of course. Security patch is latest February 5th 2018 but for some reason the kernel version shows unavailable I don't know why. Well if you are here for customizations you my friend need to wait for the next build. Because the developer of this ROM is focusing only on the stability of the ROM first and then later on he will add customizations which is great in my opinion. As you can see all the options are empty here. So I would definitely go with the stable custom ROM for daily driving rather than going with a laggy and buggy customizable ROM. So now let's jump into the display settings. Then advanced. Let me adjust the screen timeout first. So here as you can see we have double tap to wake and double tap to sleep turned on. So let's just give it a try. Double tap to sleep on the status bar works fine as you can see. But double tap to wake doesn't work. So maybe it's a bug. Do remember guys this is an alpha build of this ROM. Not even beta. So considering that it's nothing short of a problem for me at least. 
I find out later that double tap to sleep is working even by double tapping any blank area on the home screen which is great in my opinion. Now let's go back and jump into security and set up the face unlock. As you can see instant face unlock is working super fine here so no issues with that. Here is a demo of Geo 4G Faulty calling working fine. Now let me open up the GC Mod 5 app and take some quick pictures. If you want to see the installation of GC Mod 5 video. Here is a card for you, popping from the top right corner of the screen. Now let me turn on HDR plus enhanced mode. Here is a picture and I shot one more picture of a broccoli later with HDR plus enhanced mode and I think it's great. Let me know in the comments down below how is it. Now let me take a portrait selfie and do note that guys that you should flash the G apps from the description only or use micro G apps. Otherwise, camera apps may not work properly. As you can see, over here in recent apps panel, we do not have any clear all button on the bottom right. But do note that you can lock individual apps to keep them in memory. Now let me do the RAM management test and in the meantime, let's talk what's working and what not here. But before that, here are the end to end Geekbench scores of this ROM. Yes, the Antero score is lower than other ROMs, but here is a twist. With my kind of usage, I feel this ROM is one of the smoothest ROMs I have ever tested and there is no frame drop or lags that I could notice throughout my testing. I'll talk about the battery life later on Twitter, so do follow me there from the descriptions. And Wi-Fi, 4G data, quality calling, camera, FPC fingerprint scanner, torch, hotspot, GPS, etc. are working fine over here. So only things which are not working I have noticed is the Vaulty video calling and double tap to wake. And I gotta say it again, the smoothness of this ROM is amazing. Till now never faced any frame drops, black screen or lag. And you can see all the apps that were in memory except for the file manager, everything else is still in memory. So gotta give a plus for that. So that wraps up this video guys, thank you so much for watching, hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work. This has been Tito, thank you so much for watching guys, I will see you in the next one, bye bye now.